good afternoon. It's afternoon here. This is John. I'm the owner of RC Dabbler or whatever YouTube channel. And I thought I would, uh, it's been a while since I've made a, a video of anything. Uh, but I came up with an idea and I thought I might share it. I have uh, behind me is a something I was going to turn into a um, rock crawling area, like a little scale off road park or something to um, drive my crawlers on. I worked on it starting last spring. Uh, we bought this property last over a year ago. I can't believe it's been over a year now, but we moved in, in two, at the end of 2018. And in the spring, I picked this area out at the top of my yard. It's, it was nasty. It was the location of, an, of a shed, a work shed, that the previous tenant, I think the people that lived here before were just uh, tenants, and they had a shed and it was nasty. They had broken, I found all kinds of trash buried in the ground and I'm still picking out broken glass and nails and whatnot but you would not believe the stuff that I up unearthed um, in this pile this little mound right here there were all kinds of there were three BMX bicycle frames uh, wheels like car wheels there's still some tires buried in there I found a toilet out of an RV I kid you not an RV toilet Nasty! We had a whole trash pile that had to be taken to the dump, and it's still not all the way out. I, I'm not going to dig any further in there. But um, further down, um, I was all summer long, I was pulling up broken glass uh, shards. And what I think it was, was you know how some people have um, in, the, in a shed, they use mason jars and they fill them with nails and they screw them into a, like a shelf. So they have it, the shelf is lined with uh, jars full of nails. I think that's what they did. And they probably were forced to leave the property or something, or maybe just in a hurry, they just, they tore down the whole shelter and all that stuff just broke and they didn't care. It just got buried in the dirt. I don't know. But I looked up Google, uh, Google Street View and that's how I figured out what was here before. So uh, all summer long, I was working on clearing that area. And uh, and I finally got it cleared off enough that I could lay down some stones. Here, let me shift. Uh, you don't need to keep looking at me. So now, this is what I'd accomplished so far. Um, it's wintertime now. It's February. And so... Um, it looks uh it looked a lot nicer in the springtime but now with it everything being dead you can see it a little bit better um that's a little uh led ground light uh solar powered led light and there's one on that post over there i was going to try and make it so that i could come out here in the evening and crawl around and it, and it does light up the area but not long enough because our days are so short in the winter time those don't get enough of a charge to last more than a half hour i think and then they die so it's not a big deal. I don't. I just don't get the time to mess with it. But this is what it looks like right now. And um, you know, I was able to get some stones, uh, some nice big round stones that I've gotten all from my property here, and um, and I've kind of buried them into the ground. And well, anyway, um, I, my wife likes this area and wants it for a garden. And I was a little reluctant because it's close to the to my home. And so all I got to do is walk out from my house with a with a RC, with a crawler or whatever, and come down here and I can crawl around. But the ground is nice, and it's nice soil, and it's <laughs> I've already cleared a lot out, and I still have a little bit more to do, as you can see. I want to clear all that out, all the way down. But this is our yard, and it's a nice big, it's a, it's a steep hill. It doesn't look like it, because you're looking at a two-dimensional view, but... It's a pretty steep hill. It's really hard to mow, but uh, we're going to clear all the way down through there and um, and try and put, you know, she wants to put a garden in. And so she wanted me to basically give up my nice little area that I've been working on all summer long. And the reason I'm amenable to this, not because, not just because I love her, but um, I discovered something else down at the far corner of our yard in the woods, which we own a patch of that... Um, 
a good patch of these woods right here. Not a, a good, I wouldn't say a good patch, but uh, more of our property goes beyond the, the yard, the edge of the yard there into the woods. And I'm gonna show you what I found. So here's the entrance to my little woods on one side. I've got quite a bit of wood down here, but here's my path. This is what I discovered. Um, er, now that everything has died, up here. see, the, the winter kills all the, the wild vegetation, all the weeds and, and bramble and whatnot. And so now I cleared, it was looking a little bit rougher when I first came down, but I've, um, if you look at that tree, I've cut down some of the dead branches. Oh, most of these are kind of, you know, they're kind of going south, but uh, with all the fungus growing on them, but they're still alive. But the ones at the bottom were, weren't getting any light or anything. They were just, they, they snapped real easily. So I cut those down. Oh, almost fell. Um, it's, there's a lot of rotting ground around here, but this is the Northwest forest for you. It's, it's very wet, damp, and there's just a lot of dead, veg a lot of dead, uh, uh, needles and all kinds of junk on the forest floor. It's really hard to, uh, to make anything out of. It takes a lot of time and effort because it's so damp. It needs time to dry out. But what I want to do is come through here. See, there's a little trail might have been animals that came through here but i've got uh i've got well <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of wild stuff that needs to be removed but i have a trail that i cleared last winter that came down through there my property line is right almost down through here it's sort of a diagonal line that goes up to the neighbor's property that's the neighbor's the bottom of my neighbor's yard over there and about the boundary line goes up between the middle, about the middle of all of this bramble here is our uh, boundary line. But um, so there's no way I'm gonna touch all that. That's just nasty bramble, thorns, briar, uh, blackberries. I think there's some blackberry uh, briars in there, but this is a little more doable. Um, I can clear a path, but I wanna connect this. So here we got here, we got a nice little there's a little swamp. I'm gonna bury a um, a post hole, uh, a base of a post that's a concrete base. I'm gonna bury it in that muck right there. I know some people like mud holes, I don't. I'm actually gonna fill it in with this little concrete post stump that I've got that I had up in my little crawl area up at the top of the yard. I'm gonna sink it down in there and firm it up and I'll probably start putting stones um, I will most likely lay a lot of my stones through there leading up to this point. This is um, a tree trunk through here, so I can't really put stones in there uh, just because they're not going to go anywhere because of the tree roots are going to block them. But I can clear through there and connect to the trail that I blazed, you know, over there. And, uh, and then the trail will go this way. I'm going to try and put rock in. Once I clear through there, most likely, I will probably start laying rock. I plan on collecting rocks that I find around the property and just start bringing them down here and making a rock trail that, you know, you can walk along the forest ground there and that will connect to my path that goes around the other side of my woods and out back out to the yard. I'd like to make, I don't know if it'll be a crawler trail or maybe just a, I don't know, a all terrain, just an all terrain little, you know, RC trail or something that I can come down here. I wouldn't mind making a dirt uh, track that went, you know, that circled through the woods, maybe, where I could, um, you know, get like a basher, like a, you know, monster truck or something, but I don't, I probably won't bother with it. I just thought I'd focus on this little immediate area, connecting the trail through here, and then um, here I'll get down here, past my little muddy bog here. It's nasty because of the rain. We've gotten a lot of rain. I don't know if you've watched the news of the Northwest, but so here we go. So it would go up through there. So I'm just gonna work on this. This is what I'm gonna work on probably in the near future um, and start clearing through there and just make a neat little fun area, I guess. We'll see what happens. And that's about it. <laughs> so this is the rock. <laughs> the, uh, it's, a, it's a post base, the base of a post, a concrete base that, of a post. You can see the wood, the four by four post uh, buried you know, in the concrete. Um, it, it was rotted off and we had to break it off and then uproot it 
and I rolled it down into here and buried it in this little area but it's gonna be the first thing that I plan to put down in the little trail down in the woods and uh, I'm just not sure how I'm gonna get it down there maybe try to roll it down the hill and let gravity uh, take hold of it or put it in a wheelbarrow and uh, wheel it down it might be fun just to uh, <laughs> let it roll down we'll see well I did it it was easier than I thought I have connected the trail it up the ground is so wet the soil is so wet it, it, it took little or no effort to uproot these nasty thorny weeds I don't know what they're called but they have thorns that grow up the stock um, see look I'll show you see those thorns I get to focus on just that I can't get to focus let's see if I can find something else yeah okay see yeah see the thorns that is what all of these are they're almost all the same they've got thorns so you have to be careful because they will whip you if you're trying to pull them uh, they whip you good and <laughs> you do not want to get those things in your head so you got to be careful but it uproots it's uprooting pretty quick and I have connected my trail that I blazed last winter that goes out the other side. I mean, you can't really tell, but this is this was all, you know, you couldn't walk through here last winter. And I got down here when we had a power outage and took a, uh, not a machete, but a big weed whacker thingamajig and cleared. I just cut down these stalks and, and waded all the way down to where that big tree is, that old tree stump is, gargantuan. And um, all in like a day or so. Uh, I think I split it up over a couple of days, but I've cleared it out. You go through and out. So I can now walk with very little effort up through here and out and out to where I began. So I now have a, a walkable... <laughs> I now have a clear enough path that I can come in here and out the other side. So that is pretty neat. There we go. So I know it's not RC right now, but in the near future, this might have a rocky trail that leads up and out. And uh, and I might have some, I might start doing some RC, little backyard RC trail videos. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, so I'm still out here. <laughs> I haven't gone inside yet. I, uh, I thought I was done, but so here's my little path, right? Coming down from the yard into the woods, down past that tree stump, and voila, there's my mud pit. And there's the connected trail. Now, this tells you I did not fill this up with water. <laughs> this is how saturated the ground is from all the rain we've had over the past week and a half or whatnot. This is uh, February. 8th and uh we've had rains for over a week and we've had flood warnings we've had landslides i haven't seen any but there have been landslides around western washington and this is why the ground is saturated look i'm stepping around and this is what is left behind this is how saturated the ground is that's here's a shovel okay here i'll show you i was digging up because i'm going to try and bury this concrete post i brought down i just carried the rest of the way down the path it's like 40 pounds it's not too bad so i managed to dig that deep and that's <laughs> i mean that's how far i've dug down i don't know if it's uh let's see let's measure that hey that might be that might be enough to bury this down i could probably just shovel some more around it later on when it starts to drain off the ground will eventually drain. Look, yeah, see, look, look at that, see? The ground is just saturated. All you have to do is just dig down a little bit and you'll hit the, you'll just, there'll just be water. And uh, maybe not everywhere as you go down the hill, obviously it won't be like that, but this is a little bit of a plateau right here, a little flat area, and it's just holding water. It's nuts, it's so bad. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can bury that concrete post in there and i dug up some uh some interesting rocks i got down past all the dead soil and some nice little uh round stones 
kind of wonder if they'd be like a quartz a geode type deal some of these are very round they remind me of a geode uh, where you crack them open and they get the pretty crystals on the inside maybe maybe not um i don't know if those are uh normal in this area this region but it'd be kind of cool to find something like that uh, see check this out listen i can't go there's a big rock there's a big rock down in there <laughs> um I'm going to dig down just a little bit more and then I'm going to sink this thing down in there and then I'll be done.